Okay, I made it to my yard. So now I'm gonna hook up to the trailer. Oh yeah, I see. Now how it the the guys from the trailer plant fixed it. So he straightened this and he welded it over here. It looks almost like brand new. Just a little bit out of shape, but all right. And I was so afraid that <laughs> somebody might steal my my brand new Jeep that usually I don't use this. I don't use this because it's always so dirty, you know. You gotta you gotta put it in a in a bag. But it's handy, nevertheless. Okay, and these are all my D-rings, and that's what goes uh, like this. See? They're, gonna, they're gonna weld this like this. So we don't need this, and now there's one more lock. Believe it or not. So you see how I do it now? So now the hose stays on the trailer. And so it's much easier to uh, hook up. So nothing in here, nothing to wrap around, you know? So it's cool. All right, so we're all hooked up. Always a good idea to check that uh, handle, make sure that it's fully in. Now we'll just do a couple of death-defying stunts because Kenworth never thought it was a good idea to install a plate here um, oh you didn't ask us well you know you're the salesman would it make sense to you know basically suggest that hey buddy you're in Canada right so how are you gonna climb are you going to use your drive shaft or what's the deal? <laughs> oh, it's okay. He'll figure it out somehow, right? And the problem with these actually... Um, yeah, I see like this one. I cannot push it in. Okay, that one is loose. I will try, but usually if, if I cannot push this in, like this part, it's not going to connect. So it's still a pain in the butt. Slightly smaller pain in the butt. That one is in. Now this one. Come on. I think it's in as well, but I'm not 100%. So we're gonna use this fancy tool. Big hammer. I 
think it's okay. Yeah, we should be good. <laughs> we'll know in a second if it starts, if it uh, rips open. Now we know something is wrong. not the proper way because that hose is very heavy <laughs> yeah like this So service brakes, park brakes, and let it be light. All right, now we're gonna start the hydraulics, lift this baby up and check all the chains and we're good to go. The lock is still in, beautiful. And yeah, one thing I wanted to mention is that now the clutch works no comparison so much nicer you know there's no grinding noises anymore and before i would get that even when i'm trying to hook uh, to switch to pto right it would uh it would make those noises So now we're gonna... What? Oh wow, check this out. It was touching over there. When I dropped it, that's not good. See when I dropped it, so that's a good, that's kind of like a note to myself for the future. See, you can rip this off real easy, so there must be more space in here. But you see how they hooked up these? That's what they should have done with the, with the, with the Jeep. But anyway, see like I got this. So it's, you need those. just gonna kill the PTO clutch button push the brake because the brakes on the trailer were on Making sure we are recording so okay everything is cool here connected the uh, legs are up that's how I ripped off that fender right these legs these legs were down <laughs> okay pin locked okay now we're gonna but you see now I had to do it like this to the frame and I was talking to a friend of mine I said uh, I'm going to a shop to install the um, d-rings i said any recommendations any recommendations and he said put six put the uh, six d-rings on the jeep and i said six why do you want six and he says four on the sides I see it's like it's, this is ridiculous right I cannot work like this not enough space uh, 
But anyway, so on the Jeep, we're gonna put, he said, uh, two on the top near the fifth wheel, but there's a dead thing in there. So I think we might wanna put it somewhere there. I don't know. Uh, but we don't wanna hit this, right? Oh, maybe put them in here, you know? Right where the landing gear is, because that's the center, like that's where the weights are, are how they're distributed, right? So we're gonna put two like this, so it's easier for the crane or forklift to pick it up. And it's not gonna hit that, which might happen if I put D-rings in there. Uh, because yeah, he said like this, he said, put them on top of the frame near the fifth wheel, but I, I would put them here, but I cannot because of this. So we're gonna put them here, and then he says, uh, put uh, four on the sides, but he said between the wheels. You know? So maybe that's a good idea actually, you know, just put one in here, right? There's lots of room in here, you know? But of course I need to be near the deering and see here I have nothing. Well, actually got, wait, I got this one. So just take this off and use it somewhere else. I can always move the timber. So yeah, we're gonna do one here, right? We're gonna do one on the top. And then of course we're gonna do one here. I think that will be perfect. Because that's the weights, right? That's the, uh, when they lift it, right? When they lift it, it should be close to this, right? And over here, Maybe I'll lift one uh, at the top here, I don't know, but I don't wanna, I'm not sure yet how they're gonna, if it's gonna affect the, um, you know, when I have the trailer here, right? But it does slope, so, but I definitely need one here, so like for now we'll just use it to lift it. Just put a piece of rubber here, but then later I can add another one on the frame, somewhere there, you know? Okay, so we know I know what I'm doing about with the Jeep. Now the Stinger, I got D-rings already on my ax on my axle, right? And but they have nothing over here. Of course, that's not. Longer. One guy says, "Why did you hook up like this?" And the, I would never do it like that because that's gonna damage the hook, and it's just not good plan. But I left the plant at eight o'clock, right? And so I think what we don't, what we want to do here is uh, we gotta put deering somewhere here, but this will be the top, right? Yeah, this will be the top. This will be connected to the trailer. So maybe put them like somewhere here. Or maybe here. No, I cannot put them here because this will be against the trailer. Maybe somewhere here. Put them on this side, right? And so they can grab a chain here and in the back there and they can lift it. So yeah, here I think here I'll only use uh, two D-rings, but I'll, I'll use more on the Jeep because the Jeep is, is uh, much bigger. And you see this, that's perfect. But I learned one trick, I see. It's already screwed up all the mud flaps. That's not good. But these are pretty tight. Yeah, so one during in here. And uh, maybe on the side there. No, I, I want it in here. So because this nice angle in here. Because this is the position. This is how my Jeep is gonna run all the time. So yeah, I want it somewhere here for sure. And then over there. Okay, I think we're good. But so this is it. This is this beautiful, I love this Jeep, the beautiful Jeep. Thanks to JC Trailers, a uh, division of uh, Gene Core Corporation. So the only thing is, I wish they would uh, install the D rings, right? And this one, we had some issues, right? But hopefully they are solved now. We'll see, but I love the design. I love these huge airbags. This is just amazing, you know? And I love that I don't have to deal with any hydraulics. 
uh, hydraulics is good but the more hydraulics you have you know the more chances of leaks and stuff like that okay i think we're all good right all the pins connected everything is connected we can rock and roll yes 